Good evening, everybody. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Doing good. Thank you very good evening, much. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good morning, teacher. Uh, good evening. Good evening, mm. perdón. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's begin. All right. Um, let me get ready for this. I'm going to share the screen with you right now. Maria Magdalena. Only listen, teacher. Okay. You're a listener today. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Um, as usual, I'm going to call the attendance list first. Okay, just a moment. It's loading. Está cargando. Here it is. All right, everybody, when you hear your name, please let me know. Just a second. Right, all right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias. Tiene problemas de conexión, teacher. Okay, thank you. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramirez. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Eber Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Eber Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Presente, my teacher. Thank you. Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Oh, you're only Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Thank you. Jose Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Benjamín Cadilla. Presente, profe. Okay. Ever Aristides. Orden. Ever, Ever Francis. Ever Aristides Oya. Ah, Herbert. Herbert. Ever. Okay. Ever. Okay. Ever. Ever. Yo todos los días le digo Herbert. A disculpar, Pero he leído mal ahí. Profe. Ever. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. No problem. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, hoy, hoy sí. Perdón. To, todo, este, todo este tiempo lo he leído mal y nadie me había dicho. Okay. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Presente, teacher. Thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. I'm here, teacher. Presente. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present, present. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. Thank you. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay, welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. 
present, teacher. Thank you. Mónica Yvette Merino Rivas. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Oscar okay. Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Saul Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening teacher. Good evening. Good Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Hi teacher. Hi. Okay. Uh, voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado aún. Adán Yo. Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Presente. Good evening. Paudilio Elenizo Rivera. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Thank you. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Francis Alvallero. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Susana Castellán. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's begin. Everybody, look. Welcome once again. This is Inglés Principiante Modulo 2. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 12, and today is June the 8th of 2023. So everybody, welcome. We have a chat entry right here. Adán Iglesias, presente. Okay, thank you, Adán. Taking your attendance. Thank you very much. Okay, what are we going to do today? Well, first, we're going to have a review. Vamos a tener un repaso. Uh, and that review is here. Grammar focus, adverse soft frequency. So, what is this? You say, I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. So what do we have right here? You say also, sometimes I have breakfast. I want you to do me a favor. Quiero que me hagan un favor. Quiero que todos escriban en este momento una oración con la frecuencia con la que desayunan. Prácticamente lo mismo que está acá, solo que solo van a elegir uno de los adverbios. I will give you 30 seconds. Let's begin. Escriban su oración, por favor. Okay, we're going to check now. I need a volunteer. Who can tell me? Raise your hand if you know, if, if you if you want to share. Pueden levantar la mano si quieren compartir sus oraciones. Espera, que solo sería una la que les he solicitado. María de Lourdes. I always eat breakfast. I always eat breakfast. Okay, good. And uh, Maria Lourdes, what do you usually have for breakfast? I eat eggs and mm -hmm. beans, mm -hmm. um, cream. Okay. And bread. Okay. 
Okay, sounds good. Thank and you. And pupusas. And pupusas. Yeah, Sometimes. very important. Sometimes. Very okay. important. Very important. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, they, they are delicious. Okay, good. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. Somebody else? Okay. How often do you have, how often do you eat breakfast? Mm -hmm. Vamos, no tengan eh, miedo de participar. David Antonio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I always eat bread. Coffee, platine, eggs, mm -hmm. or breakfast. Okay, so do you have breakfast every day? Oh, yes. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, good. All right. Um, Enrique Perez, Lemus, your turn. Thank you, David. You're welcome. I am eat usually breakfast. Okay, careful right there. Um, cuidado ahí con eso. You say, normally you say, I eat breakfast. Pero sabemos que vamos a ocupar el adverb frequency antes del verbo principal. Entonces usted diría, I. I sometimes. I sometimes. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Así es. Mm -hmm. Cuidado con decir I am, porque ahí el verbo be no tiene nada que ver. Okay, so I sometimes eat breakfast. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Se Benjamin. I never eat bread cereal. I never eat bread cereal. I never eat cereal. Cereal. Okay, I never eat cereal. Okay, that sounds good. Nunca como cereal. <laughs> okay, great. I never eat cereal. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, we're going to continue. Baudilio Lenilson. I never eat pizza. You never eat pizza? Never. Never. Why? It bad. It's bad. It's delicious. Body. It's delicious. I yeah. ate pizza yesterday. It was delicious. Um, how much uh, cholesterol? <laughs> Too much cholesterol. Okay, yeah, true. But it's delicious. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Ever Francis nos dice por acá que ya está conectado, así que le tomaremos su asistencia. Thank you for letting me know. All right. Okay, everybody. That was that was good. But we need to continue. Okay, so um, what else do we have here? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? You can say, yes, I always do. You can say, sometimes I do or I never do. And you have to remember that adverse of frequency usually follow this order. Always is the top. That's 100%. Then you have usually which is usualmente or normalmente. Then you have often, okay, which is a menudo, seguido, con frecuencia. Sometimes, which is a veces, de vez en cuando. Then you have hardly ever, which is casi nunca, okay? And then you have never. Never is at the bottom. That means nunca, okay? Zero times, nothing. So, uh, we'll continue here. So uh, some of the explanation, right? These words are with the verb in the middle of a sentence. Remember that you use always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, seldom, hardly ever. Now, what are rarely and seldom? They have the same meaning as hardly ever. Tecnicamente, rarely, seldom, and hardly ever son iguales. Okay? Los tres quieren decir que casi nunca sucede algo. And then you have never. Just let me find the group here. Where's the group? Okay, I just don't remember if I sent you this yesterday. Yes, I did. Okay. So you say, my brother never speaks to me. She's always late. Do you often go to restaurants? I sometimes eat too much. Alternatively, you can say, sometimes I eat too much. They rarely go camping. So you can see the picture right here. She is always 
late. And there are some rules that I forgot to send you yesterday. Algunas reglas acá que se me olvidó mandarles ayer, pero se las voy a mandar en este momento. Más vale tarde que nunca. So, uh, Cecia, welcome. Attendance taken. Thank you. Okay. Um, quiero ver, Cecia, creo que tiene algunos problemas con audio. Cecia, are you there? Cecia Gemima. Hola, hola, profe. Buenas Hi. noches. Hi. Eh, estoy presente, perdón la tardanza, pero es que mi hijo se accidentó. Híjole, pero está bien. Sí, le salió un puño de sangre, pues ya está bueno. Ok, bueno, <risa> si usted lo dice. Ok. <risa> ok. Ok, ok. So, well, you have the adverse of frequency. Now, how do you use adverse of frequency? Adverse of frequency go before the main verb. Okay, ellos van antes del verbo principal. So, you have always go, often play, never have, etc. So, for example, you have, I always drink coffee in the morning. I always drink coffee in the morning. Okay. So you have always, that's first, and then you have drink. Sandra often goes to Chicago on business. Often goes. You sometimes look unhappy. Okay, sometimes look unhappy. They usually have dinner at seven. And we rarely watch TV. Okay. Now, however, adverse of frequency go after the verb be. Ok, cuando se trata del verb be, va después. Recuerde que el verb be es el verbo ser o estar. Solamente cuando estemos hablando de ser o de estar, utilizamos el verb be. De lo contrario, no. So you have am, always, is, often, are, never, was, always, ok, where, often, etc., etc. ¿Qué son was y where? Son las formas en pasado del verb be. Tranquilos que eso todavía no lo hemos visto, pero está bien que parezca acá como... Para ejemplificar, ¿verdad? Que también se utiliza así, ya sea en presente o en pasado. You have some examples. I am always tired. Siempre estoy cansado. I am always tired. They are never at home during the day. Nunca están en casa durante el día. It is usually very cold here in the winter. Okay? It is usually very cold here in the winter. Then you have, when I was a child, I was often late for school. And there are some, they are, sorry, sometimes late for meetings. A veces llegan tarde a las reuniones. So, if you notice, there's the verb be first and then the other frequency. Am always, are never, is usually, was often, are sometimes. Okay, very important. But now, look, you can use the adverb sometimes at the beginning in the middle or at the end, okay? For example, you say, sometimes in the middle, we sometimes have sushi for lunch. La regla que habíamos visto. El adverb of frequency va antes del verbo principal. Pero con sometimes usted puede elegir usarlo al principio de la oración y al final también, no hay problema. You can say, sometimes we have sushi for lunch or we have sushi for lunch sometimes. Y está bien. Okay, so you can use it before the main verb, after the verb be, you can use it at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. Okay, those are the rules. Okay, so we have some examples here. I always drink coffee in the morning. Okay, I need a volunteer. Algo que usted siempre hace en la mañana, que será? What do you always do in the morning? Quiero que utilice always and in the morning. For example, I always take the bus in the morning. Siempre tomo el bus en la mañana. Paudilio. I always drink water. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. I always drink water in the morning. Very good. Enrique Perez. I always... I always... Uh, exercise in the morning. I always exercise in the morning. 
Ok, siempre yeah. me ejercito en la mañana. Ok, good. También se puede decir, I always do exercise. Hago ejercicio, se puede decir también. In the morning. Okay. Pero como lo dijo usted, está bien. Ok, um, anyone else? What's something you always do in the morning? María de Lourdes. I always take a bath in the morning. A bath. Wow. Um, you mean a bath or a shower? I'm sorry. Take a shower. A shower. Take okay. a bath as Santina, verdad? En una tina. Oh, ah, que puede, ah, que no. puede ser. No sé si tiene no, una no, tina. No, no, no. Ah, take va. a shower. Okay. okay. <laughs> Casi nadie tiene tina aquí, ¿verdad? En, en, la, en, el, en el Salvador. <laughs> in, in a barrel. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, you say, I always uh, take a shower in the morning. Okay. That sounds good. Very good. Anyone else? What's something you always do in the morning? Mm -hmm. Nobody? That's all? Okay, you don't want to participate. All right, so what about this? Uh, I want you to complete this sentence for me. You say, I sometimes uh, on weekends, los fines de semana. What is something that you sometimes do on weekends? Algo que usted a veces hace los fines de semana. What would that be? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Wilber. Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm sometimes swimming on the weekend. Okay, pero cuidado. Tendríamos que decir, I sometimes, porque es present simple, no vamos a ocupar el verbo en forma, en, en que termina en ing. Entonces sería I sometimes. Swim. Swim. Okay, good. Swim on weekends. Okay. I sometimes swim on weekends. A veces nado los fines de semana. Okay. Thank you. Enrique, please. I sometimes watching TV on the weekend. Ajá, mismo problema. No podemos decir watching porque estamos, tenemos que ocupar el present simple. En present simple no utilizamos verbos que terminan en ing. Entonces sería, I sometimes. Uh, watch. Uh -huh. Watch. TV. On weekends. On the weekend. Ok, I sometimes watch TV on weekends. Ok, that sounds good. Um, anybody else? Maria de Lourdes, okay. I sometimes visit my family on weekends. I sometimes visit my family on weekends. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Vaya, estoy viendo un patrón. Me participa Enrique Pérez Lemus, María Lourdes, Paudilio. Ahorita me acaba de participar Wilber. Y cada vez que pido una nueva, los mismos me participan otra vez. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Pues? Ajá. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más se anima? Fíjense que este tipo de ejercicios son, son buenos, ¿verdad? Por dos motivos. Uno, practicamos. Y segundo, usted tiene la oportunidad de expresar algo. Y si comete un error, aquí mismo hacemos la corrección, ¿verdad? Si usted no se atreve a hablar, se lleva el error para su casa y yo ahí no puedo hacer nada. Ok, David Antonio. Lo voy a intentar, teacher. Émosle. Ahí me ayuda. Sí, sí, claro. <risa> Gracias. I sometimes go out with my family on weekend. Perfect. Ok, I sometimes go out with my family on weekends. Great. Very good. Very good. Thank Somebody you. else? Anybody else? Alguien más? Okay. Uh, Valdilio. And then Ebert. Okay. <laughs> and then Monica. I sometimes come on the weekend. I sometimes? Come. Come. 
What do you mean? Camping. Ah, camping. okay. Okay. Aquí sí veamos. I sometimes go camping. camping. Okay, ah. on weekends. Me van a decir, teacher, y no acaba de decir que no podemos ocupar verbos en ING. Sí, correcto. Pero aquí el verbo principal es go, no camping. Entonces, por, eso lo, sí. por eso lo intenté para aclarar ah. esa duda. Okay, I sometimes go camping on weekends. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, Ebert, Aristides, oh yeah. Um, sometimes I sleep on weekends. I sometimes sleep on weekends. Okay. A veces duerme los fines de semana. <laughs> <laughs> o sea, que hay fines de semana que no duerme usted. <laughs> okay, I sometimes sleep on weekends. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Ebert. Okay, Monica Ivette. I sometimes run on weekends. I sometimes run on weekends. Run, okay. Uh -huh. okay. También se puede decir I sometimes, parecido a go camping, uh -huh. go running, o salgo a correr. Okay. Uh -huh. ah, weekends. Okay. Pero si usted okay. dice I sometimes run on weekends, está bien también, no hay problema. María Thank de Lourdes, you. you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Yo tengo una consulta. Este, okay. Referente al... Eh, al ejemplo que acaba de poner con el verbo go con, usando go camping, el verbo, o sea, go, uh -huh. ¿será también lo mismo con el verbo con do? Mm, no, no. Hay una serie de expresiones que van con go. Por ejemplo, go camping, go swimming, go shopping, go... Um, Ah, podría ser go running. Sería también go skiing. Go. Uh, what else? Go hiking. Ok, ir a caminar a las montañas. You can go. Uh, what else? What is the other one? Go jogging. Ok. Son ciertas expresiones que se utilizan con go y el verbo siguiente va en ing. Así es como va, pero no con do, propiamente. Ok, let's see. Uh, Enrique Pérez. Yo he tenido una duda. Uh -huh. este, en este caso, en las últimas oraciones, por ejemplo, el go es el verbo principal. Así es. Y, y el siguiente sería el auxiliar, por ejemplo, el camping, el swimming. No, el no, es, no es el auxiliar. Más, no, bien, esto, no, más bien es esto que se, los auxiliares estarían, por ejemplo, como en present simple, el do y el does son auxiliares. Cuando vemos present continuous, que hay que ocupar el verb be y el verbo en ing, ahí el verb be es, es auxiliar. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, camping no es un auxiliar. Esto más bien se le conoce como verb collocations. Más bien, son ciertos verbos que van juntos unos con otros, pero no es que uno sea auxiliar del otro. Son complementarios entonces. Algo así. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. Juan Francisco. La oración, voy a decir que sure. I sometimes go playing basketball on weekends. Ok, vaya, en este caso no se necesita decir go, solamente I sometimes play. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. I sometimes play basketball on weekends. Ok, sounds good. Oscar Susana. Okay, I sometimes visit my parents on, week on the weekend. I sometimes visit my parents on weekends. Very good, very good. Ever Alvallero. Buenas teacher, voy a intentarlo. Dale. Bye, okay. Uh, sometimes I don't, uh, I don't practice, uh, practice soccer on Sundays. Okay, sometimes I don't practice soccer, soccer on Sundays. Okay, okay, sounds good. Mm. O sea que normalmente sí, pero en algunas ocasiones no. Exactamente. Okay, sometimes I don't practice. El fútbol. Okay, or I don't play soccer on Sundays. Okay, okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Okay, great. Let's continue. Okay. Um, here we go. Now, th there was this exercise that we completed yesterday. We're not going to do it again. But there is this one here, okay, we didn't do. 
your turn. Read Eric's answer to the questions. Write sentences about Eric with often, never, sometimes, always, etc. Depends on the adverb in parentheses. I'm going to highlight it. If you give me a moment, I'm going to highlight the adverbs so that you can see them better. Just a second. Okay, now, like this. So, um, write sentences about Eric with often, never, etc. So, my brother speaks to me, never. So, you say, my brother never speaks to me. Okay, what about number two? You have, Jessica is polite, always. Básicamente, solo hay que integrar el adverbio que está en paréntesis en la oración. Who wants to go? Por ahí veo a Ever tiene la manita levantada. No sé si quiere participar o si le quedó levantada de la participación anterior. Le quedó levantada. Okay. So Jessica is polite. Who wants to try? Enrique Pérez. Okay, Enrique. He hecho una pregunta. De, okay. Prácticamente. Por ejemplo, uh, never, uh, usually, uh, y, y todas las, las partes que siguen, uh -huh. eh, van después del, antes del verbo, en este caso, Jessy, eh, podría quedar, yes, Jessica, eh, always is polite, polite. Uh, but remember, the verb is different. El verb es diferente. Porque no va antes, va después. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, sería este. Jessica. Y. Eh, eh, o lo ponemos algo en Jessica en Spolity. Sería al principio. Always, no, not possible. El único que puede ir al principio es sometimes. Okay. Eh, quedaría entonces Jessica is always polite. Polite. Okay. Polite. Correct. Jessica is always polite. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Good. Juan Francisco, do you want to do number three? I finish work at five. Then you have usually. I usually finish work at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I usually finish work at five. That's that's right. I usually finish work at five. Very good. Okay, great. Uh, who wants to try the next one? Oops. <laughs> Made a mistake there. Okay, so who wants to try the next one? I go to bed before midnight, rarely. Baudilio. I rarely go to bed before midnight. I rarely go to bed before midnight. That is correct, okay? I rarely go to bed before midnight. Very good. Thank you, Baudilio. So who wants to try the next one? Number five, the bus isn't late. And then you have usually. Wants to try. Wilber. I'm going to try it, teacher. The bus usually isn't late. Mm, not really. Look, you have isn't. That's the verb be. La regla nos dice, el adverb frequency va antes del verbo, excepto cuando es el verb be. Ahí va después. Bueno, vamos otra vez aquí. Isn't usually the boss late. Mm. Bueno, no, ahí me está cambiando el orden de las palabras. <ríe> Hay que mantener el orden de la, de la oración, pero vamos a integrar el adverb frequency que está en paréntesis, usually, en el lugar correcto. 
Tercer intento, vamos, la tercera es la vencida. The boss isn't usually late. The boss isn't usually late. Okay, that is correct. It's after the burby. Okay, good. Oscar Susana, number six. I don't eat fish often. I often don't eat fish. I often don't eat fish. Okay, now, careful. The adverb frequency comes before the main verb, not before the auxiliary verb. I heard. Mm -hmm. I often don't know. I don't know. Okay, no problem. David Antonio. Number six, teacher. Yes, number six. I don't often eat fish. I don't often eat fish. Okay, <laughs> correct. The adverb frequency comes before the main verb. Okay, I don't often eat fish. Okay, yes, thank you. Stay. What about the next one? <laughs> we have uh, number seven. They stay at the same hotel. Then you have always. David Antonio. Lo voy a intentar, teacher. Me ayuda. Okay. They stay always at the same hotel. Okay. O sea, uh, no, como... Stay. Ah, stay, they stay at the same hotel. Okay. Es esa, esa me... what, is, what is the verb in this sentence? ¿Cuál es el verbo en esta oración? Stay. Stay. Quedarse o permanecer. Okay, so what is the correct form? Es antes. Mm -hmm. The always stay. Mm -hmm. The always stay at the. Y esta cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Some. Same. Same. The stay. The always stay at the same hotel. They always stay at the same hotel. Siempre se quedan en el mismo hotel. At the same hotel. Okay, good. Thank you, David. Right, what yeah. about number eight? Baudilio and then Salvador. Baudilio? Number Please. eight. Uh -huh. Liz doesn't usually work on, on Saturday. Liz doesn't usually work on Saturdays. That's correct. Very good. Thank you, Baudilio. Salvador Hernandez, number nine. What do you have for breakfast? And then you have usually. What do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Monica, number 10. We travel by bus always. We always travel by bus. We always travel by bus. That's correct. Okay, good. Okay. Good. We always travel by bus. Great. Now, uh, there is knowledge check 4.9, okay? And that is here. What do you have to do? Instructions. Unscramble the sentences. Write each sentence in the correct order. Decifre las oraciones. Escriba cada oración en el orden correcto. That's knowledge check 4.9. Que es el mismo ejercicio que está acá. Pero antes tenemos otro que no aparece ahí. Exercise A. Put the adverbs in the correct places. Then practice with a partner. Es Muy parecido a este ejercicio, básicamente. Solo tiene que identificar dónde va a ir. Es la misma idea. Okay, so you have an example. What do you have for breakfast? In parentheses, you have usually. So what do you usually have for breakfast? Yes, Enrique. 
Piche no va a tirar el ejercicio anterior ahí al, Mm, al, al grupo. okay. No problem. Chris. Okay. Okay. So, what about this? What do you usually have for breakfast? It's a conversation. So, the other person said, what did the other person say? ¿Dónde pondrían el often ustedes en esa oración? Salvador Hernández. Uh, uh, we, I often have coffee. Okay, well, I often have Next. coffee. Okay. Yes, I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Very good. Thank you. What about the next one? The person says, do you eat breakfast at work? And then you have ever, the question, ever. Wilbert. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Wilbert. What about the next one that goes, I have breakfast at my desk, and then you have sometimes. Maria de Lourdes. Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. Yes, that is correct. You can say, sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. But is there any other way to say this? Otra forma de hacerlo? I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Yes, you can say, I sometimes have breakfast at my desk, pero como dijo usted or, también, sometimes I have breakfast at my or desk. Or I have breakfast at my desk. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. At the end. Very good. Thank you. David Antonio, number, well, the next one. Do you eat rice for breakfast? And then you have usually. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Breakfast. Do you usually eat, eat rice for breakfast? That's correct. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm hmm so um what about the last one no i have rice and then hardly ever okay wilbur I know hardly, hardly ever have rice. No, I hardly ever have rice. Okay, yeah, that's right. I hardly ever have rice. Okay, good. Ahora sí, vamos con el ejercicio del knowledge check, 4.9. Unscramble the sentence. Put the, sen put the words in the correct order. So, I have breakfast on never weekends. It's I never have breakfast on weekends. Okay, what about number two? Work, I, snacks, eat at hardly ever. What is it? If you know, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Maria Lourdes. I hardly ever eat a snack at work. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Jose Benjamin, number three, eat for pasta dinner, sometimes I. What is it? And sometimes eat pasta for dinner. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Pasta for dinner. 
I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. That's correct. Very good. Okay. Good. Very nice. Uh, and the last one, number four. Who can help us? Quien nos ayuda? Baudilio, have I dinner with often family? My. I often have dinner with my family. I, I often have dinner with my family. Okay. Yeah, correct. I often have dinner with my family. Very good. Thank Very you. good. All right. So um, just a second. Just a moment. Okay. So that was exercise 4.9. So what are we going to do now? Take a good look. You have, by the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about special foods Develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Al final de esta clase leerán y discutirán un artículo sobre alimentos especiales. También desarrollarán destrezas en la lectura para la detección de los detalles. All that. So, uh, here's the article. Eating for good luck. Comer para la buena suerte. So, eating for good luck. So, take a look. On special occasions... Do you ever eat any of the foods in these pictures on special occasions? Now look, I'm going to read the first part and then you will help me. Primero voy a leer yo y luego ustedes me ayudan. On New Year's Day, when is New Year's Day? By the way, when is New Year's Day? Who knows the answer? When is New Year's Day? ¿Cuándo es New Year's Day? ¿Quién me sabe decir acá? Cecia. I'm sorry? December. December. December 31. Actually, de hecho, okay. December 31st is New Year's Eve. Eve means víspera. So that's, ah, ah, so when, when is New Year's Day? January 1st. January 1st, that is correct, okay. When is New Year's Day? New Year's Day, that is January 1st. All right, very Thank good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, on special occasions, do you ever eat any of the foods in these pictures? On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. I need a volunteer to help me read the first part. Vamos here, please. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el primer parrafito? Cecia. And then Baudilio for the second one. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are around, are wrong, from food and an event again like yours. Okay, very good. So some Chinese people eat tangerines. What are tangerines? Las mandarinas, ¿verdad? Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, okay? Round. What is the meaning of round? Redondo. Redondas, okay, redondo. Okay, so tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like the years, okay? Los alimentos redondos terminan y vuelven a comenzar porque son un círculo. Okay, like years, como los años. Okay, so that's the first one. Thank you, Cecia. Now, Baudilio is going to help us with the second one. And then Enrique, or Enrique, do you have a question? Or do you want to read? Baudilio, o yo. Ah, no, solo le preguntaba si tenía alguna consulta o pregunta o si quería leer. Le quiero leer. Okay, okay, so you read number three. Now, Baudilio is going to help us with yeah. the second one. Please. Uh, teacher, I have a question. The pronunciation. The, the pronunciation, pronunciation of Jewish. What was 
Jewish. Jewish. Okay. Jewish means judío o judía. Jewish. Mm -hmm. Como it adjetivo. It is a Jewish. Yeah. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet New Year. Mm -hmm. It is a Jewish custom, o sea, que es una costumbre judía. It's a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Okay? Es una costumbre judía comer manzanas con miel para tener un año nuevo dulce. Lo que sea que signifique eso, pero bueno. Okay, uh, for a sweet new year. Thank you, Baudilio. Okay, so uh, that's, that's it. That's the second one, the third one. Ah, sorry, Baudilio. O sea que el salvadoreño es una costumbre tomar para permanecer ebrio todo, lo, todo el año. Capaz, capaz. <laughs> okay. Okay, Enrique, can you help me read the third one? Okay, teacher. Es una palabra que no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero lo voy a tratar. Ni yo, porque griego es. <laughs> Digámosle vacilopita. Bueno, <laughs> vamos a ver. Grip it. Basilica, ba, basilopin, o pai. Basilo, let's say basilopita because I, I don't know the pronunciation. <laughs> Eso es griego. A ver cómo se pronuncia. Okay. Okay. It okay. basilopit, big with a coin sign. Mm -hmm. Everyone try to pin to find to to find the coin for look up money in the new year. Okay, thank you. Greeks, los griegos. Greeks eat vasilopita. Bread with a coin inside. Es pan con una moneda dentro. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. Todos tratan de encontrar la moneda para la buena suerte y para el dinero. Nadie se la traga la moneda ahí. Peligroso. Okay. Bueno, que nosotros tenemos una costumbre parecida, la, la, la de Reyes. <laughs> you try to find the baby Jesus, okay, and that thing. I played once, jugué una vez, okay. I found baby Jesus, so I had to give food to everybody. So, yeah, Greeks eat basilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for luck and money in the new year. Okay, the next one. Who wants to try, please? Volunteers. Maria Magdalena. And then Karen Julissa. In Spain and some Latin. A pronunciation, please. L Latin American. Um. In Spain, in some in, Latin in, America. In Spain. In Spain. Mm -hmm. In some Latin American country, people eat 12. 12 grapes. 12, 12 grapes. 12 grapes, um, meaning on New Year's. Midnight. Midnight on New Year's, every one, one grape. For good look in each month of the new year. Okay, new thank year, you. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. So in Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. Okay, in Spain and algunos países latinoamericanos, la gente come 12 uvas a la medianoche de la víspera de Año Nuevo, que técnicamente ya sería el Año Nuevo. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. So this is, this is for January. Good luck. This is for February. Good luck. Okay. And so on. Okay. Great. Karen Julissa, the next one, please. On New Year's Day in Japan, people in Japan. eat in Japan. People eat mochi, mochi. rice cake mm -hmm. for a string in the new year. Okay. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, that is rice cakes, pastelito de arroz, for strength in the new year. What's the meaning of strength? 
What is that? ¿Qué significa? What's the meaning of strength? ¿Qué significará? Strength means... Fuerza. That's the meaning of strength. Para tener fuerza. <laughs> okay, that's the Japanese. So, yeah, on New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi. That's rice cakes for strength in the new year. And the last one. Jose Amilcar. Good evening. Good evening. So, some some American from so so from Southern state a black a piece and right with color greens. Mm -hmm. The black a piece are like coin, and the green are like dollars. Mm -hmm. That's right. So some Americans. Just give me a moment. Uh, okay, so some black so some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. Okay, so take a look. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. All right. Ahora, ¿qué tenemos acá? Black Eyed Peas. Okay. Además de ser una banda. <laughs> okay. So, Black Eyed Peas is a type of seed. It's a type of fruit. Okay. But in El Salvador, this is not common. Okay. And uh, the green, the, the color greens. Color greens. Son como estos que están. Bueno, no les puedo mostrar porque voy a subir esto a YouTube después. Um, es parecida a la lechuga romana. Okay, son unas hojas. So, uh, the black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. So, there you go. Thank you, everybody, for helping me read. Now, we're going to do this exercise, which is the last one for uh, this is a knowledge check 4.12. So, number one, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, sweet, or acid, like years. Evan Enrique. Tangerines are, tangerine are round, like years. Tangerines are round, like years. Very good. Thank you. Number two, Cecia. Can you read the sentence? Some Jewish people eat apple with honey. For a sweet year. Yeah, some Jewish people eat apples with honey for a sweet year. Very good. Number three, volunteers, please. Can you say that? Maria Lourdes. Crips and basilopita. Mm -hmm. Bread with. Um, a coin inside. Greeks eat basilopita, bread with a coin inside. Very good. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you. Number four. Who can help us with number four? Raise your hand, please. Karen Julissa. Permítame que no veo aquí. Ok. Dice in Spain. In Spain. People, sí. In Spain, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. Ok, that's good. Thank you, Karen. Wilber Rafael, number five, please. The Japanese eat rice cake for a string in the new year. Yeah, the Japanese eat uh, rice cakes for strength in the new year. Thank you rice very much. Rice cakes for strength. For strength, yes. And number eight. 
Number eight. Number six, sorry. The last one, please. Ebert. The microphone, Ebert. El micrófono, creo que... Okay, uh, there you go. Song American. It's Black. Iba Money. Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas. Mm -hmm. uh, money. Black Eyed Peas or like money. Uh -huh. Or like money. Um, more specifically. Money. Dollar, oh yeah. <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> a dollars. Let's take a look. Actually, black eyed peas are like coins, they said. Como monedas. Okay. okay, like coins. But okay, thank you for your participation. Okay, everybody, listen, that's that's the end of this uh section. Okay, which is section number four. El lunes comenzamos ya con la sección número. Cinco, que sería la última, y para esa semana tiene que estar también listo el final test, el final exam. Ok, así que uh, Enrique, dígame. Eh, no, te eché ya, ya eh, con la duda, ya, ya, me, ya me, me, me actualizó de ahí. Ok, ok, uh, así que vamos todos trabajando ya la, la sección número cinco, y pues vamos a hacer el debido acompañamiento. La siguiente semana. semana. Recuerde que mañana no hay, no hay clase porque es viernes, ¿verdad? Así que descanse. Ok. Thank you, everybody, and see you Monday. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. teacher. See Good you night, Monday, teacher. teacher. Good, night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.